welcome to the last and final episode of your movement and mindfulness series brought to you by Jeunesse Anayon. My name is Celine Abelia, CrossFit coach and a certified yoga teacher and I will be your coach for today. We are almost done with our movement and mindfulness series. To recap, we discussed how to build better habits and to kickstart your fitness journey on week 1. Week 2, we discussed how to fight your period bloats and work out during your period. Last week during our week 3, we slow down and do some relaxation. And for today, we will share it to your body. So go ahead, grab your partner and let's work out together. Working out regularly can be challenging to maintain, which is probably why most of us skip our workouts. One of the best ways to increase your chances of becoming healthy is to find a workout body to make it more fun. Having a workout body gives you Number 1. Accountability You and your workout body can hold each other accountable. If one of you gets unmotivated, the other can help encourage you. She can also help you achieve your fitness goals by having a number two, friendly competition. If you are a little competitive, working out with a friend can make you push yourself and perform better. One caution though, don't make it so competitive that your friend becomes your frenemy. And last but not the least, number three, someone to celebrate with. Working together towards a common goal can help you both have something to look forward to celebrating. If you can enjoy your successes with others, it goes back to the idea of making things fun and achieving a goal can be a big motivator to keep you going and will strengthen your friendship too. Working out should be fun. It should also push you to be better and do better. If you're having trouble sticking to your fitness routine, Think about calling a friend and work out together. Find a workout buddy and work out together towards a common goal. My workout buddy for today is someone we can all relate to. She also indulges in self-care rituals that enrich her personal life and believes in the importance of finding the right balance and treating ourselves like queens too. We have on the other line, Jasmine Curtis Smith. Hi coach! Hi ladies! Let's work out together.
Thank you for joining our Movement and Mindfulness series. Do not forget to like and follow Jeunesse Anayon on Facebook and Instagram at Jeunesse Anayon. To get more tips on how you can treat yourselves, hashtag like a queen. See you and have a great day!